Today I'm going to show you how to make a potential profit of thousands of dollars a year with only a minimal amount of investment of your time and money. We have dealers in this mall that are doing just that and have been for years. Today I'm going to give you information on how you can be successful as an antique mall dealer. The key is that you need to offer a variety of merchandise at a variety of prices and you must also be willing to commit time to your work to work your space. Okay, we're going to start off with the first item, which is optimizing your performance. And what we're going to do with this is uh, what to buy or not to buy, supply what is demanded. Okay, you need to give the customers what they want. That's not always antiques and collectibles. And you need to remember that collectibles is a broad category. And that collectible items that you can put in your booth to augment your antiques. They do, not, they do not have to detract from your antiques that you have for sale, but they can augment them. They uh, fall in the same family line and they're younger antiques, they're collectibles that people can, uh, can still have a love for and still want to purchase and, and buy and they can help to make you money in the time frame where you don't necessarily have um, oh maybe a, a big sale of, of your larger buy for value. three different reasons. People buy because they want to uh, purchase the item as an investment. They want to uh, use it for decorations or func functionability. Or they buy for the warm and fuzzy feeling. Consistent, time, repetitive manner. It does not have to be every day and it doesn't even have to be every week, but it has to be a consistent, time, repetitive manner that works for you. And you have to get in there and you have to move it around. I always tell people at this point that out of every 1,000 people who come through the door at the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall, 75% of them <coughs> have been here within the last 30 days. We have a huge repeat customer base. So out of every 1,000 people, 750 of them have been here within the last 30 days to shop. So what do you think those customers are going to do when they walk down a row and your booth looks the same? They just keep on walking. That is why another reason why it is so important to work your space, to move your items around, to change walls. And later on in our conversation, we're going to talk about FaceTime and, and, and how you can set up a booth. And the, but, but this is just the tip of the iceberg of why that's so important to move it around and shake it up. You know, I asked myself a question. Okay, so a thousand people are coming through the door. Uh, do I want to appeal to the 250 new ones or do I want to appeal to all thousand of them? You want to appeal to all thousand of them every single month. And you do that by variety of merchandise, variety of prices, and work in your space. That's the whole simple key to it. You have to do it.